Hello everyone, it's Phil here with another tech review and tweak guide. Got a bit of a sore throat, so uh, I actually had another video planned, but I'm going to go with Space Quest 5 because it's nice and quick and I try to keep my goal of uh, one video every week. Okay, so let's run the game and see uh, how it's configured uh, out of the box. So we can see that the screen is pretty small. I just press escape and I'm gonna uh, load, uh, what am I say? Oh, I didn't do a save game, that was under ScumVM. So we're just gonna play a new game. See if we can, can we might have to uh, play that out. So by default, uh, we definitely have to tweak the, uh, tweak the graphics. It's a bit small and it's also using just normal Adlib and Sound Blaster uh, sound, so we can definitely improve the music as well by using general MIDI through uh, sound fonts, and I'm going to show you how to configure all of that. So, just going to create a save game, so next time we can get into the game a little bit quicker. It's also, the game is a bit sluggish, it takes quite a while to change between rooms and to save things, so we might have to change the processing speed, speed as well. Let's just call it at the start. Yeah, it's taking quite a while just to save, so we'll definitely have a look what's going on here. So let's quit that, yes. Okay, so we start by going to our Space Quest 5 folder and we're looking for the config file. Should be this one here, DOSBox spacequest5.conf. Let's open it up and let's start tweaking. We start with the graphics um, under here, full screen resolution. Set that to your native uh, system resolution of your monitor. In my case, it's 1920 by 1080. Window resolution, if you do toggle between full screen and window mode, which you can do with Alt Enter, I usually go with 800 by 600. For the output mode, there are three choices. Um, they should be up here. Uh, there you go. OpenGL, OpenGL non bilinear or direct draw. OpenGL gives you a nicer, uh, nice and consistent image, but slightly softer. Whereas OpenGL non bilinear and direct draw gives you a razor sharp pixel look, but you might be able to tell that some pixels are not the right size. That's just an issue with the scaling, and especially reading text uh, with OpenGL non bilinear and direct draw might be a little bit uh, harder to, to read the text. And this game doesn't use speech, so I recommend sticking with OpenGL, which works fine for pretty much every game I've tried. Um, aspect ratio correction, we definitely set it to true. Otherwise you get the wrong 16 by 10 widescreen aspect ratio instead of the correct four by three. Let's change that to normal three X. Okay, let's have a look what's going on with the processor here. So cycle set to auto, we're gonna change that to fixed. Now, um, this came, game came out a little bit uh, later. It's one of the newer VGA games and then Space Quest 6 actually uses higher resolution, resolution graphics. We should be able to go with a slightly higher cycle speed. Let's try uh, 10,000 and we'll just see how that uh, works for us. Then we're gonna boost the sample rate uh, to 48,000 and with the MIDI we're gonna change the game to not use Adlib or Sound Blaster for music but to use general MIDI and if you, I'm using a Windows 8.1 machine the um, MIDI synth I recommend is called Virtual MIDI Synth so basically this is a free download I'll put the link down in the description um, you download this and then you also need a sound font and there are quite a lot of sound fonts. Uh, these are quite popular ones, the uh, Corium, Fluid R3, SGM, uh, Timbers of Heaven. Um, the one I recommend is the Weeds General MIDI 3 sound font from uh, Rich uh, Nagel. And 
he gave me the permission to host them on my uh, website so I will I will continue using uh, those for my tests and he's recently done an update the uh, general MIDI 4 update which uh, improves or replaces some of the instruments I'll put a link on my in the descriptions to my website where you can read a little bit about it and it also has a link to Rich uh, Nagel's website where you can uh, check out what he does he's he's very knowledgeable and does a lot of things to do with uh, MIDI okay now we need to find out the MIDI config ID of virtual MIDI synth and as an easy way to do this uh, we just go back up a folder here into the space 456 folder then into DOSBox we run DOSBox and we type in the command, command mixer slash list MIDI. So you need to run this after you've installed the virtual MIDI synth. And the device ID is zero. So all we do is put a zero in here. It will now use um, the virtual synth for MIDI. In case you're sticking, oh, hang on. In case you're sticking with the sound blaster, uh, we also need to change the sample rate down here. Because at the moment the game is still configured to use the sound blaster. So we're just going to save it. Close that. And there's one more thing we have to tweak. We actually, actually have to tell the game that we want to use general MIDI as uh, music. And there's this file here, resource config. I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. And up here where it says use the adlib driver we will replace that with the general MIDI driver if I find it. Uh, it must be right here, there you go, so gen MIDI, so we just changed that here. Gen MIDI, and that's it, file save, close it, and let's run the game, and we should now have a nice full screen, um, full screen graphics with correct aspect ratio but also much nicer general mini music. It also seems to be a little bit faster in terms of navigation. Okay, that's it for DOSBox. And there's one other way of uh, playing this game. So I think I covered everything. I'm just going to touch on using Scum uh, VM, which is uh, an interpreter. And I've also I've recently added the Space Quest 4, and I've done a video for that. So we're just going to add Space Quest 5. So we're just going to click on Add Game. Navigate to your Space Quest 5 folder and say choose and there it is. We just have to configure it under uh, Graphics, we're gonna ov <coughs> Override the global settings and change this to OpenGL no filtering We turn on aspect ratio correction and full screen mode and uh, audio we also override the global settings and we change the music device to the Coolsoft virtual MIDI synth and that's really all we have to do. So we just press OK and start the game. For some reason it takes a bit longer to um, load up initially. So let's load. And there you have it. So also a nice full screen aspect ratio uh, corrected image with general MIDI, uh, general MIDI music through the virtual synth MIDI device. And that's really it for this video. Um, fairly straightforward to tweak this game. Um, so I showed you how to make the graphics uh, fill out your screen, but keep the correct aspect ratio. Also how to configure the game to use general MIDI and uh, how to configure uh, sound fonts with 
CoolSoft Virtual MIDI Synth uh, because the standard Microsoft uh, General MIDI uh, sound font it doesn't sound that spectacular. And also introduce you to the uh, Weeds General MIDI 3 sound font, which is actually pretty good. And you can now download it from either his website or from mine. Uh, as always, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Any questions or feedbacks, uh, just leave them down below.